Now, let us understand different types of primary electric cells like voltaic cell, Leclanche cell, dry cell, and bicromate cell. Now, let us see what is voltaic cell. This is the first electric cell invented by Voltaire in the year 1786. Let us see the construction of a voltaic cell. Take a glass jar and dilute sulfuric acid up to three fourth of the jar. Take a copper rod and a zinc rod and put them in the jar such that half of each of them is immersed in the acid. Take two copper wires and connect each of them to the copper rod and the zinc rod. Electric current flows through these wires. Connect a bulb to these wires and you can check the current flow. Copper rod acts as positive electrode. Zinc rod acts as negative electrode. The dilute sulfuric acid is called electrolyte. The defects are local action, polarizations. Local action means due to impurities present in zinc rod, it gets consumed even when the cell is not in use. Polarization means current gradually reduced after certain time of its operation due to undesired chemical reactions. The voltaic cell defects are local action and polarization. These defects come across by Leclanche cell. It is of two types, the wet Leclanche cell and the dry Leclanche cell. This is the wet Leclanche cell developed by Leclanche Georges in the year 1865. It consists of a cylindrical glass vessel. It is half filled with saturated ammonium chloride solution. Into the ammonium chloride solution, amalgamated zinc rod with a brass terminal and a Leclanche pot are placed. This is the porous pot. Place a carbon rod in the middle of a porous pot. Space is tightly filled with a granular mixture of activated charcoal manganese dioxide. This is called Leclanche pot. Now, carbon rod acts as a positive pole and zinc rod acts as negative pole. Defects Leclanche cell cannot give continuous current for a long time. So, this cell is used in devices which require intermittent current like electric bell, telegraph, telephone, etc. There is no liquid in Leclanche dry cell. Now, let us see the structure of dry cell. A dry cell consists of a cylindrical zinc can, and this is the protective cover. A carbon rod with a brass cap is placed in a cylindrical zinc can. A thick paste of manganese dioxide and graphite powder is packed round the carbon rod. A thick paste of ammonium chloride is packed round the zinc can act as an electrolyte. The zinc can acts as negative pole and carbon rod acts as positive pole. This is the negative terminal of the cell and this becomes positive terminal of the cell. Defects Not rechargeable Poor performance at low temperature and has a natural tendency to leak or crack which creates pollution through chemicals used.
Let us understand the construction of bicromate cell. This is the flat bottomed glass flask. Fill the flask half with a saturated solution of potassium bicromate. This potassium bicromate acidified with sulfuric acid. Two interconnected carbon rods are fitted tightly in the flask with cork. Between the two carbon rods, an amalgamated zinc rod is lowered, which can be pulled up from the bicromate solution, whenever needed. Here, amalgamated zinc rod gives positive charge, and connected carbon rods gives negative charge. Bicromate cell supplies a continuous current for a long time. Defects. It contains a corrosive liquid due to which accidents may occur.